While in certain parts of the world, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones are carriers of desolation and death. In Latin America, and specifically in Peru, a university has started using them as an important tally of scientific research and development. This began in 2005 to improve precision crop management. We worked with the International Potato Center taking aerial photographs. That's how we started. With this partnership, we gained a lot of experience in aircraft and sensor development. As CIP is the guardian of potato and sweet potato variability, our evaluators required us to assess large quantities of germplasm, and this takes a lot of time. We started out using an air balloon as a platform but faced problems at high altitudes because of the lack of oxygen. So we changed to helium balloons to do assessments with multispectral cameras. And this is when we joined with the electronic team from Catholic University and Professor Flores and created a synergy. They with their electronic components and we with our agricultural knowledge. We are working on various items. One is germplasm selection. Another is agricultural statistics. Another issue is yield prediction. Putting all of these into simulation models, on which we have been working for many years, it is possible to have systems that allow us to predict yields of different crops. There are many different applications for drones, such as citizen safety, mine surveying, monitoring of various features that can be measured from the sky, like mapping for different purposes. What we want at the Catholic University is to develop a research centre for these unmanned aerial systems. We want to develop this technology from its inception. Everything, airborne and sensor items, flight mode and control station. The potential of this technology is enormous. For me, it is a tool for the future. There are lots of things we can do with this technology.